All new at 6 on a hot summer day, you likely come inside and reach for a tall glass of ice cold water. But you likely don't think about what's actually in that water. Tonight, News 6's Catherine Silver shows us what's been in some neighbors' water for years and the efforts to get it out. The mayor says Sanford's water is safe to drink. They're consistently meeting all the standards from state and federal agencies. The city's concern stems from making sure it stays that way. We really started looking at it in 2013 when the EPA said, we'd like you to test for these additional chemicals. And we immediately shut down the one well that had some in it. Sanford Mayor Art Woodruff says the presence of 1,4-dioxane in the city's water is an ongoing issue, one they've been assessing and working to resolve for years. A lot of the news for it came from work the city was doing. And we were the ones that were talking to the DEP about it. We were the, we were having public meetings about it. An in-depth Orlando Sentinel investigation brought the contaminant into the conversation in recent weeks and its existence in Sanford, Lake Mary and parts of Seminole County. 1,4-Dioxane is classified by Florida's health department as a contaminant of concern and likely cancer causing. The state has set an advisory level of 0.35 parts per billion. It's like, you know, uh, a gallon and a train load or something like that. It's, it's a, I mean, it's a very small amount. The mayor says samples from the treatment plant in Sanford are consistently below that standard. We've been looking at it not as what's in it right now, but if it's coming, it's going to start impacting us more and more. Seminole County is also looking into what's ahead. We have a lot more to learn about what our options are. This week, commissioners sent a letter to the EPA urging them to set national regulations. Just clean the water, address the issue, fix the problem. Sanford is already moving forward with their fix. What we're working on now is a new treatment plant that will allow us to continue to keep the water safe. I imagine that would be quite costly. It is. We're looking at about 60 to 70 million dollars. The mayor says whoever is responsible for the contamination should pay for it. They've hired their own experts who trace the toxin to this site on Reinhardt Road that used to manufacture telephone parts. The city hopes an ongoing investigation by the DEP will confirm what they suspect. In Sanford, Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6.